Wrestling Extravaganza, Mike Nichols, along with Steve Lyons and the Flying Dutchman. Gentlemen, we have two very, very formidable opponents in the ring, Morgus the Maniac and Mad Dog O'Malley. Mad Dog O'Malley being a 459-pound giant. What do you have to say about that? Absolutely, he was introduced at 400, and that's obviously an understatement. 459 or 460 makes a little more sense. Despite the incredible strength of Morgus the Maniac, I have to think this is gonna be a real uphill battle for him, Steve. The match under a little bit different circumstances this time. The only way the NBWF champion Morgus can win this match is to slam Mad Dog O'Malley. And I see here at the beginning of the match, he's taking advantage of, I think, the advantage of quickness he has over O'Malley. A quick drop kick, sending him through the bottom two ropes. Let me tell you something, Steve Lyons. I've been watching Morgus the Maniac for some five years now, and I have never, I repeat, never seen him throw a drop kick in his life. Maybe he's decided to throw the strength aspect away and catch him by surprise for the slam and use the quickness, as you've alluded to. Morgus the Maniac is the current MEWF champion. Morgus has some phenomenal stamina and resilience. Takes great sums of punishment. I, I think tonight he's definitely messing met his match with Mad Dog O'Malley there, Big Ron. He's gonna need as much resiliency and endurance as he possibly can muster. I don't think he's ever faced a man with quite the curse of a man like Mad Dog O'Malley. Morgus went for the quick slam, and I think a little bit premature in the matchup, having not worn down Mad Dog enough. And now the advantage gained by Mad Dog, a couple of big forearms, clubbing blows to middle of the back, keeping Morgus on the mat. Well, Steve Lyons, I would have to say that Mad Dog O'Malley is the number one contender to the MEWF title. We could see the title change hands here tonight. After all, Mad Dog O'Malley is currently undefeated. Well, normally that might be the case, Mike, but in this match, the stipulations say that it is not a, a non-title matchup. And But maybe, maybe he has a point in that if O'Malley can pin Morgus here, they can get a rematch for that heavyweight championship. I think that he'll get an automatic title match in the event he does get some kind of pinfall or submission victory here. But I think Mike Nichols is right on target. This could signify the end of the title reign for Morgus the Maniac. It may not be this evening, it could be tomorrow night or next week, but it could definitely happen when a man this large jumps on top of a man like Morgus. Morgus has faced many big men, many strong men in his career, but has he ever faced anyone with the size and the girth of someone like Mad Dog O'Malley? Well, there aren't too many men on the face of this earth as large as Mad Dog O'Malley is, so I'd have to imagine probably not, at least not in a wrestling ring, Mike Nichols. That's for sure. Mad Dog O'Malley claims to be unslammable. Now, how can someone claim to be unslammable, Steve Lyons? I'm not too sure. I guess he's anticipating that his size and, and the advantage he's got with his strength that no one's going to be able to pick him up. Right now, taking advantage, though, of objects outside now the ring. Now, he's making sure that he won't be able to make a slam. As you know, you need all the back strength you can handle in order to slam any man, a normal 225-pounder, let alone somebody that's 459 pounds. Well, using a chair to his advantage, taking the back out, there's no leverage that Morgus can have to pit the slam a man like Mad Dog O'Malley. Mad Dog O'Malley has yet to be involved in a lengthy match, totally overpowers his opponents, totally destroyed the clown, if you remember that match. Absolutely, I can't remember one of his matches going in more than three or four minutes. And Morgus, however, likes the lengthier matches. The longer the match goes, as you pointed out with the endurance and resiliency, it goes to Morgus's favor. Morgus the Maniac has the hardest head in the MEWF, and certainly, it's been said that myself has the hardest head outside of the ring, but that's a totally another story. Beautiful flying shoulder tackle, but the girth of the big man can't take him down. He's gonna have to go after his legs. His knees obviously have to be a little weaker. If he's gonna take him down, he's gotta go downstairs. I'm impressed by the return burst of energy of Morgus the Maniac after being hit to the floor so many times in that chair, coming back now to go Can after him. picks him up! And he's got the him. slam. He got knocked down. Morgus thinks he's won the match, but the referee hasn't had the bell rung. And Mad Dog comes from behind with a Mad double axe and a blow to the back of the neck. Mad Dog O'Malley hitting Morgus from behind. You know, Morgus is probably one of the greatest brawlers I've ever seen. He's setting him up for that big splash. There it is. There it was. Oh, forget about it. 
And then he sends it. Time of the match for 